Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. And of course, if you've been following me, you know I'm at another hotel. Here we're here at the Hampton Inn in Al in the Anaheim, just enjoying a few days of a little bit of R and R. And of course, I have to pick up some to drink. And today we picked up some Belgian uh, Beaver Brewery Bev or Beef Light American Lager damn good times and it says here uh, it says beef light American lager we don't brew from a computer room like the big guys we brew with true American craftsmanship uh, to deliver the highest quality beer you deserve no one works as hard as you this crisp clean and refreshing lager made from the finest ingredients is our way of thanking you America for being awesome. Cheers, the Belgian Beaver Crew. Now, what caught my mind? Well, before I say that, it's uh, 4.2 alcohol uh, per volume. Uh, let's see if we have here. It says 115 calories uh, and nine uh, carbs. And what uh, what caught my eye for this particular one was that it's unfiltered and unpasteurized so basically um, you know what's unfiltered so I looked it up and I found this on carlsberg.com says what is unfiltered beer when filtered a beer loses a little bit of its flavor uh, each time unfiltered beers well a bit of its flavor each time unfiltered beers on the other hand offer more complex flavors and aroma and it also, um, you know, uh, filtered beer uh, also looks up clear when you pour it. So we'll see if we see a difference here. And also another thing that caught me was uh, that it's unpasteurized. And basically, uh, I also found this online from Lion Brewery, uh, co.com. It says, rapid heating and chilling is not good for the flavor of the beer. Uh, aromas tend to be lost and the flavor of the beer is flattened by the process. The argument for unpasteurization is a simple one. It makes for a fresher, tastier beer. And that also goes to the, it says serve cold, drink fresh, craft American lager. So let's jump into that and see if we do notice a difference uh, when we pour it and see what we see, all right? And my trusty untapped, uh, up here and uh, follow me on untapped under uh, beers and bars all right guys go ahead hope you guys are having a wonderful memorial day um just uh giving thanks to those who, who paid the greatest sacrifice and thank you for your service and thank you for defending america the united states of america all right guys let's jump in there boom boom clear all right carbonation nice aroma a slight fruity aroma coming from the head there Let's go ahead and taste it up. I would say it's a slight uh, uh, fruitiness to it. It's definitely very tasty. Unlike, uh, so I drank, uh, we drank the Modelo Oro, the uh, Corona uh, Premium, and 
those definitely had a lot less uh, flavor to them. This, on the other hand, has a lot more flavor to it. But still, I, I do I do notice that I am drinking a light beer. So I, I wouldn't uh, get it twisted or get it confused uh, with a non-light beer. Uh, because you, you still have, just by looking at it, you can tell it's a light beer and the taste even though it's, it's very flavorful it is smooth so uh, it's it's well brewed it's definitely a, uh, definitely a good beer i bought a six pack uh came out to about twelve dollars i bought it at total wine um and so it's 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 it came in a six pack. So it's definitely uh, it, it's a good beer. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to worry about getting buzzed if you if you drink a six pack or a little bit more. Should be fine. And this one is actually brewed in Belgian beer brewery, uh, brewed in Oceanside, California. So definitely local. Purchased it in Glendale, California. So it is definitely fresh and worth your time. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. And thank you for watching another episode of beersandbars.com.